Hi, this is Alan Shaw, and welcome back to Strategic Planet. Today I'm going to give you an insight into Gephi, which is essentially a platform that allows you to visualize social networks. This is what Gephi looks like, and what you can see here is an example of a piece of work that I've been doing that has um, just over 65,000 nodes uh, associated with some tweets that I've been analyzing. Now, we're not going to go through the details of this particular piece of research. I want to uh, um, start from the very basics uh, and build up over the next couple of months, I think, uh, to get to you to the point where you can understand actually what do you do with the, um, uh, the graph or the image that you produce, uh, how you interpret the statistics, which you can see here on the, uh, on the right hand side, um, uh, and, and how you can essentially use it uh, in, in your research. So the first thing I want to do is uh, go back to the very basics, as I said, and look at the data that you need to um, uh, import into to Gephi. Okay, before we get into the details of Gephi, I want to cover some social network basics. The first thing is uh, the key elements associated with the social network. They are the node or actor and the edge or relational tie. Let's look at these individually now. So the node or actor uh, must have a unique identifier, and that could be their name, uh, it could be uh, their social media handle, it could be the URL that is being used, it could be um, a company number, etc., etc. But it must be unique. So when you go back to um, uh, the first one, name, um, you, you have to have something in there that can uh, distinguish it from a, another person's name. If you've got a small number of um, uh, nodes that you're looking at, then that might not be uh, an issue. But if you've got lots and lots and lots of uh, numbers, you're bound to um, have a duplication of names, which will cause you a problem. So you do need to have some sort of unique identifier that can be attributed to the node. Okay, the next thing um, are attributes. Now, within the, um, uh, the node itself, you could have a, a variety of attributes uh, associated with them. And this helps when you're um, visualizing, visualizing your graph. Uh, you can put them in different colors so you can see right um, uh, how many males and how many females are uh, in the, um, uh, the network that you've got, or where are they fall from, or what is their uh, importance or, or weighting. So uh, the, the three examples that I, I put there are um, three at the top of my head, which I've used before. Weighting is something that is also calculated um, within Gephi itself, but I'll come back to that uh, later on. But you could put um, some sort of weighting yourself onto uh, an attribute. You know, it could be something like um, uh, the CEO of an organization will get a, a bigger weighting than uh, an operator working on the production line. Okay, the, the next important uh, aspect of uh, the social network is the edges or relation uh, relational tie. Um, and there are three ways that you can portray this. So first, they can be directed, they can be undirected, or they could be a mixture of both directed and undirected. Now I'm going to come, could show you some examples of those in, in a second. But like the nodes, they can also have uh, attributes uh, associated with them. So uh, a relationship tie could be family or friend or colleague. It could be if you're doing something with Twitter, a tweet, retweet or reply uh, in some sort of communication. You can see is was the... Um, uh, the communication by telephone, by email, or face to face. So you could again um, identify very quickly with different colors uh, these different attributes on your social network. But we'll we'll go into those later on as we get to the details of it. So here here are some images to help you understand uh, what nodes and edges are. Now, Gephi essentially uses nodes 
and edges as the term. So um, I'm going to move away from actor and relationship tie uh, or relational tie uh, and just stick now with nodes and uh, edges. So here is an example of uh, directed uh, edge. So it could be an email. Node 1 has emailed node 2. And you'll note that the arrow uh, just here is pointing uh, in, that, in that direction. Now, if um, it was a conversation, an email conversation, uh, node 1 could have emailed uh, node 2 and then node 2 emailed back. I've got two arrows here. Now, this is an email conversation, and it's still directed because the conversation is bouncing between each uh, of the two nodes. Now, here is an example of what's known as a self-loop. Uh, so in, in, in this example um, is a tweet that node one has done um, or node one has um, tweeted uh, but no one has responded so essentially uh, a uh, an event has taken place but uh, nothing has happened now it, it is it is directed. You could you could potentially have um, an undirected uh, self loop as well, but in the, in this case, uh, because there's a tweet going out, it's being pushed out. I've called it uh, directed. Node one here has just sent it out to um, uh, the, the the world, uh, and it will really be represented like this. So it's just um, the the single node. Now. Uh, as we will see later on with this graph, it's it's really important to have these um, uh, replicated here because when you do the stats, it will uh, it will come up with um, uh, the appropriate calculations. It'll take this into consideration. Now, um, graphical examples two uh, here is an example of an undirected um, social network. So node one is a family member of node two. So let's say node one is the brother of node two. Um, you, you can't have it directed in a, a particular way. Uh, so it's under it. There's no arrowhead uh, that's uh, shown there. The final one uh, is a mix. So we've got node one, which has emailed node two, which is directed, and then uh, uh, node 2 has links to node 3 and node 4 which um, essentially are family members uh, and that's directed so you can see here it's a mixed um, uh, event that's taken place uh, directed and undirected and you stipulate this in the um, uh, the upload process we'll we'll see that later on so just um, park that in in the back of your mind now you might be uh, asking yourself well, what what sort of um, communication uh, um, could be taking place that causes this sort of thing well as an example um, in the census so in the UK um, uh, an email or a mail usually it's a mail that goes out a, a letter goes out from node one which is the the census organization to node two which could be the head of the household uh, and then the head of the household fills in the data and uh, the, the data essentially is the family so uh, head of the household um, happens to be a man at this time, this time node three is his wife and node four is their child so that, that's an example of uh, the various um, uh, representations that you will see in um, uh, Gephi so some of you might now be really interested in undertaking some form of social network analysis and you, you're probably thinking well, what can I do the list is actually endless you could look, look at um, email activity within an organization uh, you can do a variety of social media analysis from Twitter Facebook um, uh, Instagram uh, you can look at um, your supplier profiles or your customer reviews um, it doesn't even have to be about business. You could do things on screenplays, screenplays analysis. One of the examples in Gephi itself looks at a, a screenplay analysis. So th there's there's lots you can do. The uh, difficulty is going to be getting the data. Now I'm going to touch on actual um, sourcing data a bit later on.